in January, I, we talked, I talked with you about Paul and something that he called his thorn in the flesh. And we looked at the question of, does God always take away or heal or deliver us from problems or illness or trials? Today, I want to go back to that uh, portion in 2 Corinthians chapter 12 and just kind of look at it from another angle. And I think it's so neat because here Paul is letting us right inside of him, his, his own inner self, his personal, his personal life. And he's sharing with us something that's so personal about an, an issue in his life that made him feel weak. In fact, it made him so, so much so that he actually begged God three times to please take this away, take it away. And God did not take it away. Now, it's natural. Our natural instincts are very strong to try to hide our weaknesses, right? To try to appear strong and able and capable, especially to others. And often we'll go to great lengths to, to try to look strong. But Paul just talks very openly about this weakness and he shares what God had shown him about it. And I want to just talk about that. See, Paul says that this thing that made him weak, this thing that he felt was a, was a problem, a, a, a source of weakness, that it was actually a source of strength. See, God had shown him that in, in verse 9 of chapter 12 of 2 Corinthians, God says to him, my grace is all you need. It's here. My grace is all you need. My power works best in your weakness. My power works best in your weakness. God had shown him that his weakness was actually like a portal, a door, an avenue through which God's mighty power could come in to him or upon him. And he wasn't saying, you know, Paul, you will be strong despite your weaknesses. He didn't say, oh, Paul, when it's all done, you will be stronger after it's over. God is saying, you will be strong. You are strong because of that weakness. The thing you know, whether we don't know precisely whether it was an internal thing that he was dealing with or something from outside, but that thing was actually the main means through which God could pour in his power into Paul's life. It was while he was feeling weak, inadequate, unable. Have you ever felt like that? It was because of that, then God's power was best able to work in and through Paul. Paul is saying, my weakness doesn't disqualify me. It qualifies me more. See, Paul had learned not hide it, but to acknowledge his area of weakness, to look it right in the eye and admit it, and to speak of it. Even he calls it to boast about that thing so that the door would be wide open for God's power to flow in. He embraced that thing that made him feel weak. And he finishes up writing about this subject by saying in verse 10, that is why I am quite content with my weaknesses and with insults or hardships, persecutions and calamities that I suffer for Christ. And here's the key sentence. For when I am weak, then I am strong. People, be weak, know it, acknowledge it. Let others know it. Because that weakness can be your secret weapon. Your weakness can be your superpower. God bless you.